I'm uh, Margaret Ann Windsor, and I'm give this reference because if you just pick this video up or this information, you don't know what I'm talking about if you're new. Uh, I'm the daughter, the legal daughter of uh, Edward VIII and Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor. My father was married to this lady, an American school teacher, and um, sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. My father had a forced abdication. He was forced. He was removed illegally. Uh, he assumed the crown when my grandfather, George V, died, and my father became king of England in 1936 till he was forced out in December of 36. Uh, in 37, Wallace Warfield Simpson, who was an American spy, married an imposter pretending to be my father, and they became the illegal title of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Now, I was born in 1939, and I've shown all these pictures on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Google+, Plus, etc., and um, I've shown the picture that it was in USA, I believe, uh, in news back some years ago. And it's a picture of George, the illegal George VI, my uncle, who had kidnapped me in 41. This is 39 when I was born. Because he had to take down my father. That was a lie about Wallace Simpson, the whole thing. That was an imposter. They deleted my father and my mother, uh, Claudia Ruth, from history, really. And then they kidnapped me because my father had an addendum to the forced abdication. And it went through channels, and it is and was legal. It stated that if there was an heir, it would not disinherit this heir should I be born or one be born, and that was me. I was, I am, as of today anyway. And um, this would have brought my father back, which was his intention all along, is to not give up the crown, the throne. He was forced out. He, his intention was to get it back. I was born legal heir, Victoria II, the moment I was born. And thus, they planned to kidnap me, and they did, and brought me to Molson, Alabama, and I put all that up. I was given the name of Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married a Childers, which I have to still use. Now, the reason I'm making this, because there's all that information up anyway, uh, so much has happened, and I wanted to say this is a... Um, the Duke of, this imposter, the Duke of Windsor, and uh, the American spy, Wallace Simpson, who became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, which is a total lie. But he was made governor of the Bahamas. I had the date, now I've forgotten. But anyway, on July the 8th of 1943, a Mr. Oaks, who, if you Google him or Wikipedia him, as I did, he's a very important person. I don't know if he's good or bad, but his associations were with the top wealthiest people in the United States and Europe, especially the UK. So I could go on and on about his family and et cetera, et cetera. But he was, um, it was July the 8th of 1943. Oaks was found dead in his mansion in, uh, I can't see, I'm getting a lot of problems here with uh, Wheatburn, I believe, in Nassau at age uh, 68. Anyway, his battered body, he had been partially burned, his corpse had, and he's strung with feathers. I don't know what that was. But anyway, the proper authorities there in the Bahamas were investigating, and suddenly, in just a matter of t short time, 
this fake imposter pretending to be Edward VIII uh, and uh, became the Duke of Windsor took over the investigation. So this shows you, hey, he couldn't keep his own title, but he has all this much power to do all that followed here. And I don't know what else this sick, demented Duke and Duchess of Windsor that's a lie did. Anyway, he took over. He had no power, remember, uh, supposedly. My father didn't. Well, this is not him. Look at the power this man had. He uh, took over the investigation, and there was a lot of things happened there because it was supposed to be handled by the British. He called in two men, policemen from Miami, and uh, boy, it was a cover-up. Now, uh, all these people were married to famous people of wealth, etc. Uh, all these crimes went on. The one name that stands out, and uh, I'm not going to try to explain how, but I hope and pray that I'm correct, and the person that gave me this a long time ago was Jack, is the name Ernest Hemingway. It was in connection with, I don't think anything to do with murder, but with uh, some offsprings of Mr. Oaks, etc. So... Uh, I, I don't know anything to say. I don't know. I'm the legal heir, and then my children would be, would be, and if we're ever able to be in, reinstated. But you do understand the mess that went on and what, what's been done to me. You really haven't heard into my children, Mark and Scott, who are heirs after me. And with all this lies and hell and cover-up, you, you really wonder if you're going to live at all, and if my children are alive, it's such a mess done to the UK, to the British, to Australia, to New Zealand. I can go on and on. And Canada is part of the British Commonwealth. And at least they're still kind of intact as far as I know. I hope they know some of the truth, the, the citizens there do. But, uh, and I know some of them have been down here on the Appalachian Trail when I lived there, and a number of them were from Quebec. And very nice people, and they made the point, and it makes me cry because nobody has been an advocate for me, that they had worked hard for me. So, um, what else do I want to say? I'm having a rough time. I'm allergic to chemicals and man in this whole mess. People have saw, sold their soul if they had one. So I'm going to stop this. I hope I get to clear my father's name, mine. <laughs> Uh, my children are alive and well and tell what was done to them. And the woman that says she's the illegitimate child of my father, and she also then goes on to say the Duke of Windsor, which was an imposter. So if he was her father, then that's where it is. My father's not her father, and I don't believe he is. But she said in 1943 also, when these murders happened somewhere about that timeline, that this man, uh, the Duke of Windsor, was there in Germany. And her mother, an American, was working as a nurse on an army base in Germany. And I can't remember the name of it. I'd have to go back over that long tape. I did watch one of hers. And I have nothing against her, except what? I mean, you know, um, she states that her mother told her later that on the Memorial Weekend of 1943 in Germany that there was a secret showing of a spacecraft that was engineered here in, uh, or somewhere in this world, the, the, the Earth. I don't know where it was engineered at. But it was being shown or uh, 
or photographs there that night. She was there evidently, and this imposter uh, calling himself the Duke of Windsor. Well, now he's also in the Bahamas. I don't know that on that Memorial Day weekend he was in the Bahamas, but this is the timeline I'm giving you. And um, anyway, Emily found out later. Her mother told her about it, and um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, she was able to file and get an attorney and go before Parliament some things. She's trying to become the uh, monarch. Well, that's me. I was trying, when I found out about my birth, trying to get it back, and all of this Things were happening to me. I wrote a book about mind control murders and Larry Flint was shot. I keep saying that because I had a magazine where he did an editorial I ran in political campaign. And people know he was shot. And uh, he was one of the few people that really, I believe, got out there and tried to help. He and the Ryder family, Althea Ryder, and she died under strange circumstances in May of uh, eighty. Seven. So I guess that's about all I want to say right at the moment. So many ugly things and so many people have been money hungry, power hungry. No wonder they don't want me to live and this be told. It is so sick and the people involved. And I want real quick, I, before this I can't put it up, um, the family where they put me, the Dempseys, I, I had pictures. I just tried to put it up, and it run over, and I didn't get the pictures out again. James Matthew Dempsey was in the U.S. Army. He was the only male in that family where Lana Dempsey had the twins and killed them, Peg and Carl. That's where they put me and used me, uh, took my name, and uh, gave me the name of the dead twin, Peggy. Uh... I look back, and James Matthew, he retired from the U.S. Army, and he was always a Freemason. Lina Dempsey, that I was given to and had to call her mother. Well, I didn't. I used to tell her, as bad as they beat me, I told she, I said, you're not my mother. And... Um, she was uh, always going to meetings, and they were secret of the Eastern Star, which is the women's part or a part of the Freemasons. The Illuminati, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, the Windsors are in England are way up there. Very people that stole the crown from my father and ruined his life and my mom's, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, and my life and my son's. And they say, God bless the queen.